Hi everybody, I'm Mike, and this is Cold War. Um, we're going to pick up where we left off. Apparently this game doesn't have, like, really um, any checkpoints to speak of. Uh, you just kind of have to do your own saving. Um, they, they do have quick saves and quick loads, but um, that's about it. So we're going to pick up from um, here, because I had to start again um, from way back where, because I didn't save. Um, and this is kind of where I ended up when I caught up. So, we have taken out the guard that was over yonder, um, by the stairs, and we wheeled back around here, and there's a guard there, as you guys can probably see in my red book. Oh! Snap. Oh no, I died last time, that's right. Okay. Ah! Reload, reload, quickly, quickly. What that guy didn't even notice? Maybe I found something. I will take you down. Oh, probably. Ah! Alright. That wasn't that much of a concern, after all. Uh, let's make some more... gonna grab this guy and he can join his friends Yvonne back here Maybe this is Fine. Here we go. this looks like the way out. Those guys don't quit, but Russian brawn has never been a match for good old American ingenuity and instinct. Oh my god. Plus, I'm in pretty good shape. It takes more than a couple Russian Spetsnaz to run me down. <laughs> that, uh, how about you go? Ivan, throw the American spy in the trunk. Yes, comrade. Make yourself comfortable, Mr. Gardner. Relax. We won't start beating a confession out of you until we get to Lubyanka. Enjoy the ride. So, the assassin is awake at last. I must say I'm a bit disappointed. Your agents during the Cold War were far more effective. What the hell are you talking about? You're a CIA agent. Uh, how you say, hitman. But fortunately, not a very good one. Really? Well, if I'm CIA, I guess that makes you my partner. My sources told me that the president planned to meet some CIA operatives in the mausoleum. I guess that makes you CIA, too. I am the commander of the presidential guard. I wouldn't hesitate to lay down my life for the president. I protect him day and night from people like you. Yeah, well, sorry to disappoint you. I'm nothing but a reporter who is in the wrong place at the wrong time. Something is not right here. So, comrade, how does Russian prison work these days? Am I entitled to a lawyer and a phone call before I get my one-way ticket to Siberia? Or is it just a cigarette, a black scarf over the eyes, and a crack of an AK-47? No phone calls and lawyers here. They want us to confess to colluding with the CIA and organizing an assassination of the president. By the time they finish with us, we will sign any confession they put in our hands. 
They have already had one go round with me. I will last a while. You, not so long. Wait just a damn minute. I'm an American citizen. I'll contact my embassy and they'll... Perhaps I did not make our situation clear. <laughs> this is the KGB. It doesn't matter who you are or where you are from. Here... Hey, keep your mouth shut. No talking. Tsukishino. What did you say? Oh hell. I've got a bad feeling about this. Um, for those of you who don't know, he called him a variant on a bitch. <laughs> um, I, I, probably a son of a bitch. Anyway, um, jailbreak. I managed to slip out of the mausoleum through some kind of secret passage leading to the Kremlin. I eventually, uh, escaped into the courtyard only to be run down by Berinsky's car. I woke up and found myself with jail with that guy from the mausoleum, Grushkov, uh, locked in a cell opposite mine. That seems like bad planning to me. Um, we exchange views as to which one of us works for the CIA, but before we could resolve our <laughs> the, philosoph the philosophical debate, our conversation was cut short when Grushkov uh, overpowered a guard, knocked him out, and took his keys. Hurry up! Grab the key and unlock our cells! Oh, what the hell. Uh, key. Uh, open. Gonna be sure. I mean, if you, if you don't go now, you can't go when, you know, we're halfway there, so. Yeah. Open. Okay. I'm gonna grab his body. And as everybody knows, you drop the body in the cell. And then you open this guy's What the hell was that all about? You attacked a KGB guard. Shit. I hope you're satisfied. Now we're not prisoners, we're fugitives. Oh, we are dead. Don't they teach you Americans anything in spy school anymore? We would have been dead if we stayed here. Now we have a chance. And exactly how do we get out of here? All guys, the let me back. Sorry about that. Um, and it seems that I skipped out on the rest of the cutscene, which is unfortunate. Um... My apologies for that. I was getting a call, uh, and I ended up not being able to answer it anyway. Uh, who knows when you're going to be able to find something interesting and uh, potentially useful in a prison cell. Like a um, med kit and rags. Take this walkie talkie. It has a secure channel. I'll be able to maintain contact with you at all times. Y you mean we're splitting up? Shouldn't we stick together? The prison is divided into several sectors, interconnected with security doors that can only be opened by remote control from these terminals. You track my movements with the cameras. I'll make my way to the door while you watch my back and make sure there is no one in my path. When the route is clear, you buzz the door open and I'll move on. I'll leave the doors open for you. That's your plan? You go shambling through a KGB prison, driving blood all over the place and risking your neck while I kick back and watch you on TV? Fine by me. I just wish I brought some popcorn. Popcorn? Now oh, forget it. Get going. I'll watch your back. Here, take this gun. You'll need it. Just with rubber bullets. I'm not gonna kill innocent people, man. I'm not a CIA assassin. Carter, we are fugitives. They will not hesitate to shoot and kill you. It's you or them. Just with rubber bullets. Anyway, um, we're going to end this episode here for right now. Uh, I'm going to go render um, some of these videos, and then I'll come back to do some more recording. So if you like this episode, um, or you just want to support the series, feel free to go ahead and click on that good old like button. If you haven't subscribed and you feel like that's something that you may want to do, that button is down there as well. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, <laughs> 
If you have any positive or negative feedback, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. If you want to join me on Facebook or on Steam, you can do that by clicking on one of the links in the description, and it'll bring you right to where you need to go. But I have been Mike, and you have been you, and this has been Cold War. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Das Vidanya!